Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. It's been confirmed the unbeaten Australian prospect Dempsey McKean, who's currently 17-0, will face high-level journeyman Jonathan Rice on March 7th on the Gold Coast in Australia. So this is actually a decent step up for Dempsey McKean. Now there had been some talk that they were trying to line up an unbeaten American and the name of Damani Rock was thrown around here for Dempsey McKean but actually I think he would have lost that fight. But this as an interim step before a bigger fight like that against a better quality of opponent I actually think this is a good step, but and it's not a gimme for Dempsey McKean. He is going to have to work for a win against Jonathan Rice, who's given good rounds against Arslan Bek Makhmadov, Tony Yoka, and other heavyweight prospects on the way up. So what I'll do is get to the statements from the fighters themselves, and then a few thoughts. So see here on screen, this is the posting from Instagram. You can see the promo poster. It's uh, dubbed Heavy Hitters. McKean vs. Jonathan Rice, Saturday, 7th March, Gold Coast. So McKean says, opponent all locked in. I'll be headlining the show and taking on tough American Jonathan Rice for the WBO Asia Pacific title and the IBF Intercontinental title. The Intercontinental is one of the most prestigious titles you can fight for besides a world title. Massive opportunity to also break into the IBF world ratings as well as jump up higher in the WBO. We'd just like to say thanks, a massive thanks to you, Angelo DiCarlo, that's his promoter, Stephen Ng, uh, Danny Lee, Ben Kilty, and all the WBO and IBF officials involved in getting these titles over the line and approved for this fight. Big things coming, and it all starts with this next fight. Only three tables and 50 general seat tickets left until the show is sold out. So get in quick as this will be sold out very soon. And this event had been up in terms of selling tickets because originally they were um, looking to line up Lucas Brown as the opponent. So this date, this show has been coming for a while. Brown actually signed the contract but then reneged and now he looks to be fighting potentially in the UK and uh, David Price might be the guy that Lucas Brown goes on to fight this year. We'll have to see. But in terms of McKean, he was disappointed when Brown pulled out and honestly, I think he would have knocked Lucas Brown out. But the mention of Damani Rock, that would have been a much tougher fight than this one against Jonathan Rice. But this is not a gimme, as I said. But Rice himself, on his social media says 2020 just got wet and wild rain and pain hashtag australia hashtag ibf hashtag wbo so the ibf intercontinental belt going to be on the line here they've done well to actually get that strap and obviously the other wbo asia pacific as well so it is a fight of some meaning and the winner likely gets ranked and for jonathan rice who's uh, been a bit of a nearly man so far in his career he's given a good account of himself against um, some tough and up and coming some of the best in the division in terms of the prospects the likes of aslan beck makhmadov as i mentioned stefan shaw tony yoker and his other loss was against the unbeaten Con Sheehan, who hasn't really been cited in recent times. But yeah, Jonathan Rice, I think, will fancy this fight because there is a question about Dempsey McKean about where is his level? Will he be able to take a step up beyond Australian domestic level? So while, you know, a Damani Rock would have been a much sort of glitzier and sort of flashier type of opponent to be facing another unbeaten heavyweight prospect on the way up, Rice is the one that's really a good litmus test of where McKean is actually at because if he can't get past Jonathan Rice then it's probably going to be a bit of a tough ask to see him stepping up to um, you know anything approaching world level and if he looks a little bit shaky against Rice and uh, potentially struggles to some extent well maybe it's uh, some more development to come for Dempsey McKean but I like the matchup because Jonathan Rice will come to fight. He's a very good mover. 
He will make it tough for Dempsey McKean. He's going to give him movements. He'll be throwing the jab. He'll be looking for right hands. He's a big guy at six foot five, 32 years old. And, you know, he can actually, you know, string some good punches together. So I'm expecting this to be a tougher fight than some people probably are. But McKean himself, he can crack. He's got a good punch, six foot six. So in terms of the height and the reach, it's relatively even. And will he be able to deal with the movement? Because in terms of his opponents when you look at his record this is the best guy that he would have ever faced in my view i think jonathan rice is a step up from his former competition and it will be interesting to see what mckean is really made of here so i like the fight and i would edge this slightly to mckean at this point but i'm not writing jonathan rice off at all he might be able to come through and upset the party here and get himself into the ibf rankings and onto a bigger fight but what do you make of it all Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.